Hello and welcome to Jericho's Infusion, where we infuse the sheer joy of creativity and innovation into our everyday meals. Friends, today we are making this gorgeous, delicious, flavor packed, moist, and juicy open roasted chicken. This chicken was brined for about 24 hours and then we flavored it and we roasted it. It's so, so good. Come along with me to my kitchen. Let me show you how to make this easy, delicious chicken you will absolutely love. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. To make an oven roasted chicken, we will need a chicken, right? <laughs> so here I got this gorgeous looking chicken sitting on my chopping board i have washed it thoroughly and we're going to go ahead and prepare a simple brine for this chicken and for this brine we'll need some lime cut into quarters like this i use some celery some parsley ginger garlic some black pepper and some rosemary and i'm going to go in with a generous amount of salt you can use whatever um, you have available. I'm going to use a generous amount of white vinegar as well. Now, if you've got some bay leaves, if you've got any aromatics, use whatever aromatic of your choice, okay? Some use cinnamon and sometimes I use it too and it's so delicious. But I'm going for spicy chicken. So after our brine has come to a boil like this, I'm going to go ahead and add about a liter of water until the water is warm, tepid, <laughs> just lukewarm, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and dunk my whole chicken into the goodness. So I'm going to use this plate um, cover just to press it down so it submerges and stays down in the water. And we're going to cover and keep this in the refrigerator. I use the deep freezer because my fridge is not so big to contain this pot. It could, but I have to clear out things. And we're gonna let this sit for 24 hours. So this is the next day in the evening. I brought my chicken out and look at that it has soaked up all the goodness and the juices from all the brine and everything has infused into the bones of this chicken look at the brine water you can see that something magical has taken place here so i'm going to take that and rinse out my chicken thoroughly pat it dry and we will put it to the next level okay I'm just going to clip the wings and put the legs together. It's not necessary. Oh, did I just break a bone? <laughs> yes, I just broke a bone. So we want to put it together so it can sit well in on our um, oven rack, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and season this chicken while preheating my oven to 350 degrees. I'm using hot chili sauce and the I'm starting with the oil because the chili is sort of concentrated on that. I don't know how you made it. It didn't mix together. I'll have chicken it, but I want to use the oil first instead of using another oil and then having chili oil here. So I'm going to go ahead and rub my chicken back and front and inside with this oil and then I'm going to use some salt, salt to taste. Don't forget we've seasoned already with salt, so you don't want to put too much in it because the brine contained a lot of salt, okay? 
So now I put my chili onto the chicken as well, and I'm rubbing all of that goodness. Keep watching. Look at the chicken looking like I surrender. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm going in with some paprika just to give me some nice color. Smoked paprika. So I'm adding extra oil just to bind the paprika to the chicken. okay that's my daughter I, <laughs> there's no escaping her <laughs> so i'm sure you get used to it by now so next i'm going to go in with some ginger powder use whatever seasoning you have available whatever seasoning of your choice okay make sure you rub in everything inside and outside i went in with some thyme So as I'm doing it, whatever I'm doing to the front, I'm doing to the back. But I'm just trying to show you one side so we can minimize our time, okay? I went in with some red pepper flakes as well. And I'm going to drizzle extra oil just to bind them all up together. Very simple, basic seasonings and your chicken will be amazing this chicken can be enjoyed with some rice with some vegetables and for those who are on a diet you can just keep it cut out apart and it's with i'm making like a side with whatever you are eating and it will keep you full so now i'm going to go ahead and squeeze some lime onto my chicken and i'll put it in the oven and bake for 350 degrees for about one and a half to two hours okay depending on your oven setting now after about two hours look at our chicken look at all the juices on the tray look at how flavorful how beautiful it looks oh my god and everywhere is smelling so amazing this chicken was delicious to the bones Now those juices, don't discard it. I personally picked it out and I scooped it out and we used it to eat the chicken. It became like a dipping sauce. It's not so oily, okay? It became like a dipping sauce. And I, we still had some leftover and I've used it in a lot of pasta recipes and it was so, so good. Just a tablespoon and it will completely transform your dish. So don't throw it away, scoop it out and set aside, okay? Now look at our chicken and we're going to enjoy this with some oranges <laughs> and of course some tomatoes, cabbage and lettuce. Oh, what's that? Kipovers for dinner. I just wanted a light, healthy dinner for everybody today and it was quite feeling. Moist, juicy, flavor packed whole oven roasted chicken is yours for the making <laughs> i hope you give this recipe a try come back and thank me later if you're new to this channel welcome 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 join this family hit the subscribe button more fantastic amazing recipes coming your way soon bye